What's going on YouTube? Back with another video. Happy holidays to everybody. I usually make a video right before Christmas, so I wanted to make sure I added one in before the year, the new year hits. And this video uh, is going to be um, a part one video of some accessories that I bought for my new vehicle, for the new Jeep Wrangler. And uh, I think these are good accessories to have, especially as a new Jeep owner. I'm gonna put all of the links to the description uh, below so if you're interested in any of these you can click on those and, and get to them pretty easily and these are just quick mods that I feel are important they're not anything major not anything big I have more things coming along the way and that's going to be in the part two video I wanted to do a video with everything all all in one but some of my um, items are uh, back ordered some of them are lost in shipping and all of that stuff so it's going to be a while before I get everything on it like i want it so um yeah first off let me just show off the vehicle i haven't done this yet remember the last video i made it was actually in the garage and oh boy i don't know how this looks on camera but let me tell you something man <laughs> first off um the way that i'm looking in the camera right now no this this it doesn't do justice for whatever reason this comes off a completely different blue in the camera that I'm looking at and I'm using a GoPro uh, then then how this blue really looks in person but man this color is sick in the Sun this is what made me want to get this color is when the when the Sun hits it it changes into a whole different type of blue uh, when it's dark it definitely looks more of a teal but when the Sun hits it it looks completely different so yeah this thing man is it's awesome Alright guys, with that being said, let me go ahead and start going over some of the items, some of the uh, upgrades, accessories, mods, whatever you want to call it, that I bought for this vehicle. And first off, um, if you follow me and you watch my other videos, um, you're going to notice that the driver's seat does have a leather seat cover over it. So as I stated in my last video, on all the vehicles that I buy, I always put a seat cover over the driver's seat. With just as much as I get in and out of the car, it just puts a lot of wear and tear on the driver driver's seat. I always have a spare seat cover for the driver's seat. And usually I only put it on the driver's seat. And so that's why it looks a little bit different if you're wondering what's going on with that. Um, I recommend it because you know I'm in and out of my vehicle. This is my daily driver a lot. And I've had other vehicles where uh, that rubbing, you know, getting in and out can definitely do damage to your leather over time. And so, um, so yeah, I always put a seat cover over that. So let's start off on the exterior first on what I did uh, with, my, with my Jeep Wrangler. First thing you'll notice is the black satin grill. I went ahead and switched that out. Actually, I did that today, right before this video. I was going to do a uh, install video, but there's plenty of them already out there on um, YouTube, so I really don't need to do that. But uh, yeah, it just gives it a, a whole different aggressive look. Uh, I do like the actual um, bikini blue grill on it as well, but the black just gives it a whole look, 
whole new meaner look to it and so um yeah i kind of I, I definitely glad i picked this up got it on amazon actually this is like a 300 and i don't know 30 dollar product it was on sale on amazon for like 270 at one point and so i picked it up when it got on sale and uh very happy with that um with me i just like some type of color blocking on any of the jeeps um it does have of course the black hard top and that gives it some color blocking but when i take that off in the spring and summertime i won't have that top on that much at all uh the only thing that's going to be able to, to give it some color blocking at that point is going to be the grill everything else will be bikini blue um and so that was the main reason why i wanted to get the uh the black satin grill next thing up um i put in uh and you'll see some tips on this before um when it comes to these little crevices right here getting the rubber seal placed in um just order some rubber seal on amazon it's not that expensive cut it to the right length and then just kind of push it in there because yeah rocks will definitely get in here and i don't i haven't even taken this off road yet these are just rocks that are coming off the road and highway so i can only imagine what type of rocks and stuff get in here taking this off road but highly recommend that you do this this little uh this little hack and again it's just some rubber tubing you cut it to the length of the actual fender and you you basically just push it in that crevice so rocks won't get caught up in there scratching up that area and i did it on all four sides so you'll see it on this side as well um, you can actually i don't know if the camera's picking up that or not but you can actually see a little bit of sand and dirt already in there even with the seal so you already know without the seal it would be you know a whole lot worse but um highly recommend that you do this probably the first thing that you want to do once you get your jeep uh, let me see anything other else exterior that i've done no i think that's it for the exterior that uh that i can oh nope i take that back yeah i actually uh put on the tire cover um i'll put in the link to this one i just wanted a basic one i didn't want anything with any designs i didn't want to spend double the price for a hardcore i mean a uh, hardcore for a hard cover uh tire cover i just wanted something basic to cover it from the elements um this is a good one i think this one costs like 50 bucks on amazon it does have the rear view camera cover already on it and uh it looks great does not affect the camera in any way and it's easy to put on very well made uh good material and it's easy to take off as well in case i ever would need it um with the hard covers i think they're a little bit more harder to take off and they're like double the price and i definitely don't want to want to pay that now um i will tell you some things that i was getting ready to buy i actually was getting ready to buy some uh clear 3m tape um what do you call it the 3m clear uh door protector areas that go in here but i bought them on amazon they came in and when i went to install them i realized that i already have some already installed that i just never noticed and they are on all four doors so if your jeep already comes with this you don't need it but if it doesn't come with this i highly recommend that you buy um, some clear 3m protective sheets to go in that little door area and again i have them on all four doors uh they definitely will help with scratches in that area they also have some little cup holders like not cup holders but they actually have some door holders you can actually uh, some black ones that you can use with 3m tape to put on there uh wouldn't recommend those i think that's a little bit too much and they're kind of bulky but um i mean but they do kind of look they look decent and you can see them on amazon as well if you just kind of search amazon about um you know regarding door uh door what do you call those i guess door protectors or door handle protectors or something like that it should pop up Okay, that's it for the exterior so now let's go to the interior and the first thing that i noticed when i bought my jeep is there's not enough cup holders in the jeeps and going from a van that had about probably 15 cup holders or 14 or 12 or whatever definitely had more than 10 in there um i needed cup holders and so i installed uh, i got these off amazon as well they got different kinds that, you know they got the kind that it's just short like this that only take up a little bit of space and then you have the kind that literally takes up the whole door that you can install i only needed the cup holder i didn't i'm okay with the actual um the netting for the for the for the storage area on the doors so i just needed this part um and it just it's just an extra cup holder for the front um it doesn't really bother me i mean it can hit your leg depending on how your leg is actually um 
being positioned when you drive but nine times out of ten it doesn't even I don't even feel it but every now and then you know depending if I rest my leg a certain way then it would be leaning against this but it's not in the way where it's uncomfortable or in the way so uh, if you're looking for extra cup holders I do recommend those for the front uh, because you only get two in the front of course in the uh, in this area and then um, in the back you only get uh, these back here but I have a feeling that the majority of time I'm not going to be using these too much because this is probably going to be blocked with something um, especially if I'm going to the beach for cargo area I'm probably going to need this back space so I'm probably not going to be able to use the cup holders back here that much um, and so because of that I went and bought this extra piece that um, is on Amazon as well which you have to actually install uh, to get this to fit correctly but it gives you two extra cup holders in the back this is what the Jeep Wranglers come with and I don't understand what this thing is or why it comes with this but this is what normally is going to be in the back of your Jeep this thing right here and when I first saw it for the first time I had no idea what this thing was um, nothing can fit in here this is not a a slip proof surface so if you put keys or something it's going to move around it's going to fall off and this is considered a storage area but the only thing you could probably put back here is like some type of you know maybe a thin wallet or or ID card or something like that but this is what was back here and it absolutely is useless I don't even know why Jeep actually even put this in there you can't do anything with it no one is going to put anything in this little slot and you can't even fit you can't place anything on this because it's just going to slide off so this is useless take this out immediately and I would replace it with the two cup holders this is about 40 or 50 dollars on Amazon they have different brands different companies but they're all the same and I will say it is kind of a pain to install you have to take out about six different screws and bolts to get to it um, you have to lift the whole console up and go in there to actually insert this and so it, it took me probably about maybe 30 minutes to do it's not that difficult but it's just not that easy either I thought it would just be more so of a cover that you slip on top of this piece but no you actually have to install this um, you don't have to drill any new holes you just use the, the, the holes that are already in there but it can be um, a little time consuming um, but yeah I think this is a, is a good fit uh, and, and definitely going to be useful as well um, This doesn't match the color completely the console is black This is like a dark charcoal So it's a little bit off but not by much and really you can't even tell unless I brought it up But um, but just in case of those who are really picky uh, Yeah, just want to give you a heads up on that and any of the floor mats It still should fit you should still have room to be able to fit your your rear floor mats back there with no problem So I highly recommend this um, Another thing that I did was the armrest uh, The armrest to me because remember I, I said it in another video I've already put 3,000 miles on my Jeep and driving that far in it already um, this particular piece is very uncomfortable um, it's hard like it, it's a little bit of cushioning but it's 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 kind of hard so I think you're definitely gonna need some type of covering on it even if you don't go with the one that I went with this is the one that I went with it's like 40 bucks on Amazon it does have the 3m taping um, that you're supposed to pull off and, and stick on it I really don't want to stick that on there um, it does move around if you don't stick it on there if you use the storage area yeah it's going to move around a little bit but if you don't it'll stay put for what I need it for I don't need to use the 3M tape and I'm glad that I can just easily take it off if I need need to but at that point you know um, it comes in handy for me uh, another thing I bought on Amazon is it was actually all-in-one kit it was this little thing right here uh, that clips in actually doesn't clip in it just fits in the place uh, pretty perfectly it came with this it came with this little storage area right here it came with the actual um, what do you call it the little uh, drink placeholders in there as well I think it was like 40 bucks for all all of these pieces and uh, just need it for extra storage for me you know I, I travel a lot this is my work car and I need extra storage and a lot of this you know the Jeep just doesn't come with a lot of storage so uh, if you need more space then definitely I would highly recommend picking up these if you don't then you should be good to go but they definitely do come in handy and again this doesn't get in the way with my legs or driving or anything else in there and so that's another uh, little uh, small item that I bought 
uh, for the Jeep as well. Um, got some decals. Decals I got online. I'll put a link to those down in the, in the description as well. I like this particular first one because it actually is just a decal that you put on and it makes it look like the grill of the Jeep, especially with the air vents. Uh, just kind of cool, but I will say it is a little tricky to put on just to make it look right um, because this actual dash right here is a little slanted. It doesn't look like it goes kind of at a slant, but it does. And so when you put the decal on, you have to keep that in mind and kind of off balance it to make it look balanced once you actually install it and so just keep that in mind it's a little tricky to play around with but uh i think it's a cool looking um little decal for the for the interior um got these as well just inserts for the wrangler symbol um nothing big there uh got a little storage space area right here as well this is where i actually uh can put pins and things of that nature in here it just kind of snaps in the place for so it's a little bit of storage area right there for an area that would normally just be used as a handle and you still can use it as a handle if you need to hold on to something but just a little storage space right there that little tray comes in handy uh put a few more decals over there in the corner uh you see my uh darth vader luke skywalker and r2d2 is over there holding down the little jeep sticker as well and so you can buy those online uh all types of decals if you're interested in you know doing something uh you know more interesting or creative they got everything you can imagine out there um let's see what else do we have here oh uh went ahead and got a sunshade and uh i'll put the description down below for this one as well these are pretty cool and you'll see them pretty much a lot online they have install videos they are tricky to install i actually had to buy extra So this, so this is what I'm talking about. You know, I'm, I purposely came all the way out here just so that I could uh, get away from stuff like this. And then a dump truck pulls up beside me on there and then literally like just 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 pulls up right beside me as I'm as I'm doing this video randomly. It's, it's not doing anything. It's not going anywhere. Um, yeah, this this is the kind of stuff that I that I that I talk about in videos on there. Like seriously, it's it's never fails. Like where's where's the dump truck going? I know there's a construction site over there, but they're not doing any construction. So anyway, uh, so I bought this sunshade. Um, they're like a hundred bucks on Amazon. There's many many different brands out there that you can choose from. Uh, I've already used it. It does come in handy because of Florida with this top down you got to have some type of cover up there just keep that in mind that sun beaming on you all day long is going to get old and so uh i highly advise that you buy a sunshade for your jeep if you're planning on taking the the, the uh, top off um you're definitely going to need one uh it does come with the rear one but i haven't installed that one yet because i'm waiting on another item before i do that so highly recommend the sunshade and they come in every color you can imagine so whatever you want you can get um Handles. Uh, installed some front handles. These are kind of expensive. They're made out of aluminum, uh, but they are very heavy duty. These these handles right here, I think, are going to last a lifetime. But I didn't want to go with the regular hang down handles. But now that I've installed these uh, more heavy duty ones, I do see one of the problems with them. So I just want to you know show you and keep you keep these things in mind. In case you're um, thinking about getting these when I put the link in the, in the description so your rather your regular uh, drop-down handles you got to understand if you get those and you you know put that velcro or those straps over the roll bar area they're gonna come down right about here so your hand is gonna be I'm just gonna close the door so you can see your hand is gonna be probably closer to the door and it's your elbows actually can even rest on it and you're going to be gripping your hand your hand uh, grip right here in this area these on the other hand if you can tell by the by the camera I'm not sure if it's picking it up or not we're looking at probably you know I don't know I'm gonna say 12 to 15 inches further out this way um, where your where your hand is actually going to be so you can see my elbow is not even near the door at this point 
I'm not, it's not resting on the door. It's not near the door. So my grip area is a lot further closer to the, more so the steering wheel than it is the window. And so for some people, this, this grip, this actual area right here probably isn't the, the grip that you want. Um, more people will probably want it closer to the door because once you go further over here, you're in the driver's seat. So it is kind of a more of a, it's not a bad position, but it's more of an awkward position to have it here. I just wish that they would have made it out of the same construction uh, materials that they use, but just made it a little bit shorter so that your hand could be a little bit closer to the door. That's my only complaint about them. But other than that, heavy duty, very, very good quality. Um, I only paid a hundred for them, but they've jumped up to 120 and I've seen them, um, another time where they went up higher than that. So you just got to check Amazon to see if the price fluctuates or not. Um, they do sell out from time to time, but they usually come back and stock pretty quickly. Now I did not install these in the rear and after reading people's reviews, they said that they don't fit correctly in the rear of the vehicle. Um, I actually tried to place it on the holes and it fits, but it does seem like it it, it it's not um, as flush as it is in the front. So I don't know, you know, in the description it says these are made for front and rear. Some people are saying that they didn't have a problem installing them in the rear. And then there's other people who wrote reviews that said they did have a problem with them installing in the rear. Um, when I put them in the rear, when I actually just kind of played with it, it didn't seem as flush as it is in the front. So I don't, I don't know what that's about. I don't know if maybe, you know, I, I don't understand it. I don't know if maybe they, it doesn't seem like they make a rear, um, specific model. They all seem the same. So I, I don't know why it doesn't fit as good as it does in the front. So I didn't really want to go with these in the back because I don't really plan on having that many rear passengers. So what I did for the rear is just get your normal grip handles that you install on the back of the um, of the of the the headrests of the front seats. And so because of that, I mean, if anyone's really having that much problem jumping in here, they can use these. I don't see it's going to be that much of a problem. Definitely didn't need it um, as far as the hand grips back here, because even if I would have installed them back here, the hand grip would have been probably closer out to here. Um, and maybe I guess using your right hand, that would help you get in the vehicle, but it would be kind of awkward. Um, just depending on how you step in the vehicle, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, I didn't go with that. I don't really think they're needed for the rear. I think the front is good. And then I went with these in the back. But, you know, it's up to you. But for $120, uh, I just don't think, you know, that's almost 250 total after taxes. I don't think these are really needed in the, in the rear part of the vehicle. Um, I did do another video about the floor mats, the uh, 3W accessory floor mats. Um, great. Uh, have been these have been great for me so far um, holding up great so far so I've already done a video on that but I went with the um, you definitely just need some type of uh, heavy duty um, weather resistant mats uh, regardless if the Jeep brand this brand or any other brand you just need some for your Jeep you're definitely gonna need those another modification that I made um, that I can't believe wasn't on the Jeep I got these uh, plastic black um door hinge covers uh, i'm surprised that the jeep doesn't even come with these but they don't if you don't have these basically on your jeep it's going to be bare metal here and uh these just help protect um the metal on metal uh latches on there you can buy a set of these i think all what one two three four i think five came in the set i think it was only like maybe 10 or 12 bucks or so it wasn't that expensive at all but uh definitely comes in handy um, when it when it comes to protecting that uh, I went with the rugged ridge uh, door sill covers um, these right here for the price you can't beat and I really think that um, if you don't have these on your Jeep already you need to install some type of uh, door sill covers because so many scratches get on this there was no 3n film on my vehicle uh, so there was nothing down to protect it. But what I did was I put 3M film on this before installing the actual door sill so it won't go on the paint. So I put a 3M protective film under it and then I put the, uh, the door sill cover over the, the 3M tape. And the good thing about this particular door sill, you'll see that it actually protects the lip 
up here. So the curvature isn't just on the door sill, it's actually on this part of the vehicle as well. So it protects this whole piece. And there's a lot of door sills out there that just don't have that. And so because of that, um, this is the reason why I wanted to go with the Rugged Ridge um, door sills. And I do like the tire tread on there. It does give it a little bit of grip here and you know some type of material to help you know wipe your feet off if they're muddy or wet or whatever the case may be um, and it also goes with the tire tread that I have on with the mats and it goes along with the back um, mat that I have here that has the tire tread in the middle as well um, I've already did a review on this as well so I have another video on the floor mats this came with the floor mat as a set so you can check out my video uh, on that but I will put a link to the particular floor mats that I have um, already and uh, and so if you're interested in those So that's about it guys that's pretty much all i've done so far with my jeep wrangler uh, i do plan on doing some other things as well to it but uh i don't want to talk about those as of yet because um you know i'll wait till those items actually come i've had a lot of problems with shipping lately and just the the quality control right now it, it's just really bad now i understand it's the hot it's the holidays and you know people are swamped uh shout out to all of you guys who are deliverers you know if you work for ups fedex amazon usps shout out to you guys for all of your hard work and dedication man i know it's i know it's a tough job i used to work for ups so i get it but um but the quality control is is absolutely insane i ordered one particular item it's supposed to come with seven pieces it only came with three and it was a brand new item i had to ship back another item because the item actually um came uh snap broke in half you know i mean like it's like it's almost as if like they're just throwing this stuff in boxes shipping it out without even looking to see you know if these items are you know okay condition or if they're not broke or whatever the case may be or if they're all there it, it's just been crazy experience for me with, with shopping this year um but it's all good we we always work it out so uh so yeah that's about it out in this video uh, I don't want to make it too long um, another thing that I do want to mention though just in case you guys are like me when you get your new Jeep definitely check it out get to know it make sure you look at it very carefully to make sure that um, you don't already have things that you don't that you think you may need so for example I was getting ready to buy a lot of other protective things but I realized that my Jeep came with a completely 3m covering all over the vehicle i have it on fenders i have it on the actual uh section of the hood right here i have it on the actual door handle areas i have it on the uh the actual grill the the blue grill that it comes with there was 3m covering all over that i have it on the back fenders you know it's 3m tape all over this thing and i didn't even realize it until i actually bought my own and was getting ready to install it and realized wow um my jeep already came with all of that you know it's clear so it's hard to see so get to see if your if your jeep already has that that'll actually save you a lot of money on other items that you won't need to buy later on um down the line and last but not least uh i do know oh this is another thing i bought as well I forgot to talk about this this is an actual the jeep exterior cover i'm not going to put it on yet because you have to take all the doors off and all of that but um yeah i bought this to cover up this is a mopar product but this is a cover for the jeep that you put on the jeep when your doors are off to protect it from any elements rain or things of that nature and so um i did uh i did buy that as well um so yeah guys so that's about it uh i hope uh, some of these things come in handy um, some other things I didn't talk about I have a dash cam but you know I didn't I didn't um, buy it just for the Jeep I needed one for all of my vehicles so I have that in here I thought about getting the CB but then I was like nah I'm pretty good with that um, I do have the interior LED lights I did another video when I had my Tacoma um, I just took those out of the Tacoma put them in here so um, I put those same interior LED lights maybe on the part two video I'll show you how those work uh, but for right now um, uh, it's daytime right now so they wouldn't even show if I wanted to at the moment so yeah I hope the video helps out you guys have a Merry Christmas I check you out in the new year peace